life for some of my f people as well. So yeah, no, it's been an amazing day, phenomenal day in fact. You know, here we are in one of the most iconic sites in the in rock and roll history. So um, phenomenal, man. It's just an absolutely phenomenal vibe. And uh, we've been today's visit here in Liverpool. What, uh, what inspiration have you what have you have you picked up since your first, as it is your first time in Liverpool? Um, yeah, it's been um, um, it's been a really uh, emotional, as well as kind of like paying homage to something that you've kind of grown up listening to all those kind of years, you know, and seeing these iconic sites that you you know you've taken us to today, which has been a phenomenal vibe. Um, seeing the Liver Building and you know all these iconic kind of places that you've seen over and over again, but to actually be here and feel the magic of it has been nothing short of kind of overwhelming really to be fair you know what i mean and um and what to uh, and has it inspired you maybe to, to write your next project i think you know there's um there's a lot of things that people can learn from being in a place like liverpool um particularly obviously you've got the history the obvious kind of the history of the building, the building blocks of what made what makes Liverpool Liverpool, um, and I think that anyone that actually come here, comes here that is open will sort of see that there is an amazing community spirit here that I don't think you're going to find anywhere else in the world. You know, it really is that powerful. It's like um, I think there's just this oneness that emanates amongst pe true people from Liverpool um, that is exemplary you know um obviously you know you, you, you've got the classic kind of like matthew street sites and the cavern and this that and the other which are you know amazing in themselves you know what i mean but you see the city really forged through the sort of when you go to anfield as well amazing. and you see kind of like the iconicness of anfield but the message that anfield puts out to its community is really it's really important and really powerful. Do you know what I'm saying? Like we've been driving up to Strawberry Fields now and all the way down from Anfield, there's all these different banners saying, you know, we can weather the storm together. We can get through, you know, together we're strong. All these kind of really positive kind of affirmations, if you like, that I think, you know, seeing that kind of like as a community and as, a, as you know, kids growing up in Liverpool, it's, it's so inspiring for the mind to hear those sort of things, you know, belief. The words belief and passion is everything, do you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot for us to learn. I think that, you know, a lot of people who, who haven't been to Liverpool, you know, you don't, you sort of hear it and see it because obviously of the, like, you know, the things that, that has happened as a result of the football and the music. But it's only when you really come here that you actually feel it for what it actually is. So, of course, I think it was, I think to answer the question, it will always, I think Liverpool will always be inspiring. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, what do you think that will be with... In, in the minds of young musicians, what do you think that will be a game changer for, for, for inspiring musicians to maybe come here and get some inspiration? Well, you know what, I just think you kind of got to do it. You've got it like if you, you know, you can do that sort of homage to kind of l Lourdes, if you like, do you know what I'm saying? And like to come here is a sort of similar kind of thing. I think that. You know, you're gonna you, if you're if you're open to it, you'll just feel it, and and within that feeling, you'll kind of like transcend it into whatever you do as an artist or or, or as a creative individual. You'll just feel it, and I, and I think you know that it's the it's the love and the warmth that will transcend into if you're again if you're open to it. It's the love and the community spirit and that oneness that will transcend into whatever you create as a result of being here. So, you know, it's a phenomenal phenomenal vibe, man. Yes, it is a phenomenal vibe. Um, how do you think? Um, how do you think music? What do you think of music tonight, that, that, as it is now, as opposed to what, what it was in yesteryear? Well, you know, all things mean different things to different people. You know what I'm saying? So whatever's happening today is resonating with kind of like the people who are growing up listening to that, and that's fair enough. Do you know what I'm saying? I think foundations are real key. Like just, you know, you see these trees over there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they're built on very strong foundations. So, so I think if you if you're drawing inspiration from strong foundations, then you can only create, you know stuff that's actually going to mean something to somebody do you know what i'm saying so uh, you know it is it's 
it's whatever you resonate with and as long as you're kind of supporting your community through what you do whether it be through a tune that's out today or a chant that was done 100 years ago do you know what i'm saying as long as it's got that warmth of kind of resonance then then it's all good do you know what i'm saying i i, I everything has its moment in time do you know what i mean we're, i think we were very lucky to grow up in a place you know in a country in a time where you know places like this really meant some mean something do you know what i'm saying like you know it's this is a shrine you know and and so you know um i don't i don't sort of i don't sort of have any kind of diss on what's happening today but for me personally you know what i mean i i, I resonate with the stuff that was done before i was kind of born do you know what i'm saying that's just the way i am because that's why i, I like even being here it's just giving me goosebumps do you know what i'm saying because you know, Strawberry Fields is probably one of the finest records I've ever heard in my life. Do you know what I mean? And that, every time I hear Strawberry Fields, I hear something different in it. So for me, that's what, it, if you get off on that, that's your, that's cool. Do you know what I'm saying? But so yeah, it's no, there's no good, there's no, there's no bad in music. I think it is just whatever you resonate with at that given point in time. Yeah, so, and, and I do agree with you on that. Uh, on your visit, what, what were your most pivotal moments about you, about, about your visit here in Liverpool? I think, I think going to Anfield and seeing the kind of the shrine to the 96 was probably the most kind of like poignant stop me in my tracks moment, to be fair, because I think that what's beautiful, and I did sort of say it as we left, I said, God, God bless the people in Liverpool, man, do you know what I mean? Because they've never forgotten their fallen. You know what I'm saying? And they fought through so much to be recognised for for that event, to be seen as kind of like human beings and, you know, listen to the testimonies, actually listen to of people. And for a club as big as Liverpool, with the history and the power and the might of Liverpool, to have a shrine outside their ground is just the most goosebump kind of experience and you know if you feel it and you have a prayer and you see the, the candle kind of flickering in the background there with the with the shrine around it you can't just it's not just about football it goes beyond football mm -hmm. it's just like sometimes things go beyond music do you know what i'm saying and yeah. so yeah you know that's probably uh, that's probably the stop me the stop me in my tracks kind of tip and uh yeah i just think amazing amazing people um would you would would you like? Would you ever come back to Liverpool? I'd like to move to Liverpool. 